The greatest dream or wish of the slave in the Southland was for freedom. Some of the slave tales show the slave indulging in a wish-fulfilling fantasy of gaining power over the owner and escaping from him. But it was rare that a slave won or was given freedom. The talking cooter is one of many animal talking tales with the motive of the animal refuses to talk on demand. The talking animal is variously a talking turtle or tortoise or talking mule. There are other variants, African versions with talking skulls and bones. Today's story is the talking cooter. <clears throat> Say that Jim was a dreamer. He hoped to be a free man, but for now he was a slave. Not far from the big house of the slave owner was a pond. Jim liked to sit beside it and think. Someone had told him that animals used to talk and Jim dreamed that someday some animal would talk to him and tell him how to get his freedom. One day, while Jim was right there by the pond, he spied a big cooter, mud turtle, at the edge of the water. Jim picked up a pebble, threw it at the cooter, striking him on his shell. The cooter moved aside a little, stuck his head up and said, don't do that again, let's be friends. Would you like to hear me play my fiddle? Jim was just shocked when the cooter spoke to him. He was most near to falling over when the cooter took a teeny fiddle from under a stone and commenced to play it. Jim sat there listening and thought he was just dreaming. When he came out of his trance, the cooter had gone. Then every day, Jim walked over to the pond when his tasks were done. And each day the cooter would greet him with, good morning, friend. Do you want to hear me play again? And Jim had found his voice and wits enough to say, yes, indeed, yeah, I do. Good morning to you too, bruh cooter. And then the cooter played his fiddle and he sang. Jim, you talk too much. Run along and find you freedom place. Now, Jim was a dreamer, but he was a thinker too. And he thought one day that if he let his owner meet the cooter, he might get his freedom that way. After all, a talking cooter was a wonderful thing to hear. So Jim went on back to the plantation. He found the slave owner and says, Mass, I want to tell you about this cooter down there at the pond. Well, what about it? Said the slave owner. Mass, says Jim, that cooter can talk. And he don't just talk. He taking out his fiddle and he play it. Pretty as you please. Honestly, I thought a cooter would be like a raccoon, but it's a turtle. Oh, get out, said the slave owner. You know that's not true. Tis too true, said Jim, as calm as he could. He speaks to me and play and sing for me nearly every day now. The slave owner had to laugh. Well then, Jim, he said, if it's true, I'll give you your freedom. But if it's not true, I'm going to give you the worst whipping you ever had in your life. That's all right, Mass. I'll show you, said Jim. I'll take you down there and you'll see for yourself. So that's what Jim did. He took the slave owner down to the pond. When they got there, there was no cooter to be seen. Huh, grunted the slave owner. 
He had his whip in his hand and he snaked it good and hard, making a big cracking sound. Good morning, Jim said, loud, but not too loud. There was no answer. Good morning to you, Cooter, Jim said, a little bit louder this time. No answer again. Well, I knew it, said the slave owner. Dang you, Jim, you fooled me with this one time too many. And he raised his whip to thrash Jim as hard as he could. Just then, they heard music, a fiddle playing nearby. And right there, the cooter came climbing out of the pond. He walked on his back legs and he had that fiddle tucked under his chin like any old fiddler. He was playing away on it too. Good morning, he said, and kept on playing. Then he commenced to sing. Jim, I told you, you talk too much. Run along and find you freedom place. Maybe Jim did talk too much, but that was how he got his freedom. The end.